First of all, thank you for asking me to speak this afternoon. Um, the Peninsula uh, Producers Food Hub is located in St. David's Peninsula and Pembrokeshire uh, since August 2020 we started. And looking back at the creation of the hub in many ways is very much linked to food equality and in particular addressing the problem of uh, food waste for the farm uh, that I manage. Uh, so I manage uh, Lower Triginis Farm, which is one of the three farms run by the charity Farms for City Children. Um, we host up to 39 primary age children um, at a time for a seven, stay, uh, seven day residential. Uh, the majority of our schools are from deprived areas of the country uh, with 85% of the schools groups coming from London. Um, but more of what we do here later. Um, then pretty much a year ago, I suppose March 20th, I think it was, we waved goodbye to a school from, from Cardiff uh, prematurely and lockdown one commenced. Um, we were pretty optimistic that the schools would be coming back in September 2020. So uh, we literally plowed on uh, with sowing the most veg that Trigonus has ever sown in 30 years. Um, and as the fruits of our labour appeared, we then realised that there would actually be no children to eat it. Um, so my head gardener, Alan, who's on the call in a minute, uh, had mentioned the Open Food Network previously. Um, and uh, to cut a long story short, we set up a profile and started to sell our produce through the Open, uh, open Food Network. Other producers locally then asked to join it. So we then set up a hub and it's still growing week by week. Uh, I think a lot of what I will talk about here today is sort of uh, ideas and dreams for how we are hoping to, to push the hub forward. And I think there's a lot of people on this call who are probably um, a lot further ahead on their journey than, than we are. But I hope that some of what I say is useful and, uh, and relevant. Um, so I'd like to talk first maybe about my experience as a producer on the hub uh, and not as a hub manager and how the OFM platform has really revolutionized our growing operation has addressed many issues related to uh, food inequality and food justice. Um, so my job is to ensure that over a thousand children every year have a meaningful and purposeful experience on our farm. Uh, the up and out at 7.30 a.m., milk the goats, let out the chickens, check the sheep, they chop their own firewood, muck out the donkeys, walk along the coast, and they do everything that's required uh, to keep the farm running. And in the last few years, we have ramped up our growing operation and are now pretty much a market garden. Um, Pre-using the Open Food Network software, uh, harvesting and selling veg outside of what the children used in the kitchen was a really clunky process. Um, orders were coming in by text, email, messenger, different drop-off days having to collect cash, produce invoices, and all of this was, was not really our remit. And it was uh, uh, hours were sort of spent diverted from our main uh, job, the most important thing, which was the children. Um, but by, obviously, as you know, simply uploading our produce and having a pick sheet generated on a Thursday, we were building, uh, we are now building our new timetable to fit in with this um, and sort of teach the children who come here far, uh, give them a far better education about food uh, because of that. Um, we now sort of allocate um, different children to different crops and we can harvest exactly what we need. So there's zero food waste, which is just amazing for us. We've never been able to do that really before. And even the dodgy veg, you know, goes to the pigs and chickens. Uh, we then sort of weigh out all our uh, food um, and um, get it all bagged up. We sort of display it in our, in our farm shop and then we build the customer orders from there. Uh, with these children. So these chili children are fully engaged in the, um, in the picking, the harvest, they're handling all this food, and it's amazing. Uh, and we're really excited to do this with the children who will visit in September. And they ha the harvest and handle all this variety of veg will most definitely be a new experience for most of these children, if not all of them. Um, our gardener will be imparting all his wisdom and passion for them, to which they will take back to their communities, and with luck, uh, a fire will be ignited within them. Um, and of course, they eat all the veg that they have seen and they'll therefore be fully connected to it. So it's a really fantastic all around experience when it comes to educating children about food. Um, and when it comes, yeah, like I said, when it comes to educating the next generation about fresh, healthy food that is grown seasonally and with care for the land, we feel we can do this um, far more effectively and uh, efficiently. Thank you, thanks to the Open Food Network. It's been, it's been fantastic. Uh, I could also talk for another 10 minutes about how Good this is for the children's mental health and confidence, but that's another day. Um, again, I'm very aware that my job allows this opportunity, but so sort of just thinking how could other hubs reach children and educate them in a similar way? Um, maybe have a farmer producer drop off the harvest to a school where a hub volunteer could work with the class to weigh and pack an order. I mean, they just love weighing all that and having the customer list and making Mr. Jones's box, Mrs. Evans's box. You know, it's really, really engaging for them. I know health and safety is a nightmare on farms. Maybe visit a farm producer and help with the harvest and collation of produce. And of course, it doesn't have to be a farm. You keep thinking farm it could be anything, couldn't it? Um, so 
what is the future of um, uh, us, really? Um, we are a hub addressing food equality, hoping to improve food justice in our quality, in our community. And this is such a massive issue and very daunting when you look at the big picture, uh, especially with COVID, Brexit and the climate. So sort of to keep myself sane, I'm just sort of focusing on my sort of circle of control and not my circle of concern. And the fact that we're all here now talking together, I think, um, is proof that we are being proactive and taking control of our situation. I think that's great to see. Um, but by our hub doing just this and not being too distracted and by disheartened by the, by the bigger picture, we've now attracted over sort of 20 local producers and have gone from four boxes a week to between 40 and 50 every week at the minute and still growing. And we hopefully believe we'll, we'll double in the next six months when sort of restrictions uh, uh, ease off a little bit. Um, so it, again, in regards to food security and food equality, what we sort of achieved, and we feel we've achieved more local producers again in another market to help keep their business alive. Um, new producers are emerging after being inspired by selling on such an effective, efficient platform. More locals in the community are becoming more engaged with locally produced food due to the ease and accessibility of the system. And I think as Kate was saying, we're, still, we're sort of finding that, that issue of um, the same sort of people buying from the hub. But it's very hard to, to sort of do that. And we're sort of guilty of that. We would think we're planning on getting chickens in and on the farm and they're going to be pasture rotated and free range and all this. And we're going, yeah, we can sell it for two pound a box of eggs. And they're going, oh, what are we doing? You know, like it's so tempting to sell it at that price. But um, we know the people in St. David's who could buy that. And we definitely know the people who couldn't afford that. So it's a, it's a tough one as a, as a producer to sort of get your head around as well. Um, local producers are getting more social media time, which is really good, resulting in the community being more educated about their story and about how their food is produced or reared. And what's really, really good is pointed to the food requirements in the peninsula and the need for more producers, more producers, more jobs. Um, so that's sort of quite exciting as well. Um, so what's the future of the Peninsula Producers Food Hub? Uh, just like the values that underpin the Open Food Network, we want to create a robust and secure food system on the peninsula, which we believe would hopefully close that gap between food and equality. Um, so our challenge we experience at the moment is for current producers not to fear similar producers joining the hub. And it's our vision that producers work cooperatively, not competitively, to ensure a food system that will ultimately benefit every person on uh, the peninsula, no matter what their sort of social status. Um, and at Guinness, we grow potatoes and have welcomed the arrival of another potato producer to the hub, Graham. And if Graham was told he couldn't join the hub, as there was already a producer, then if we suffered from blight, then there would be no potatoes on the hub and, and everybody would lose out. And actually there's two small uh, growers who are starting to establish themselves now due to the success of the hub. And instead of both having the pressure to grow a huge variety of crops to satisfy a potential veg box scheme, they're sitting down hopefully and talking about how they can uh, grow to their strengths and what suits their land. So that, that's quite an interesting uh, discussion, I think. Um, so to make our peninsula as food secure as possible and generate more jobs and get more people sort of um, engage with food production, uh, we need to encourage more producers and fill the food gaps that we have on the peninsula. So our big plan going forward, and this is just the plan and dream in a minute, is to trade enough to employ a full-time manager and cover running costs. And at the minute I'm doing this for free when it's not, not sustainable, I'm on furlough, so I'm lucky I can do it at the minute. Um, any income after that, we're going to be saving. And once at a certain level, we aim to offer this money as seed money to a new producer. For example, no one produces mushrooms. So if we had £2,000 to offer with help startup costs, plus a marketplace ready to trade through, then that would be a fantastic opportunity for a new startup. Uh, this way, when the community buy from our food hub, they're not only supporting local producers, but they're helping to secure the future of the peninsula's food system too. And I'm sure we could apply for grants as well, but we would like to be as self-sustaining as possible, like our food system uh, should be. Uh, at the start of COVID, a food bank was established in St. David's that currently supports about 50 families a week. So we saw that, uh, I think it's Bow House. When I was on one call, I put a donate button on their, on their hub where customers could donate towards their local food bank. Uh, we've also done the same and raised between sort of 40 to 60 pound a week. And um, the food hub are obviously told to spend this donation in the best way they, the food pod, sorry, food bank, I'll get confused, the best way they see possible. Um, but what's been great to see, especially this week, is they started to buy items off the hub that have been sold in bulk. So uh, this week they bought sort of six big nets of Swedes, um, six big bags of potatoes. So um, see these donations being spent sort of cyclically, cyclically is, is really great to see. And we'd like to work more closely with the food bank, but one step at a time at the moment. Um, so to conclude, we're sort of excited to see where our journey takes us and to see what else we can do to address other aspects of food justice and equality. 
So in my opinion, the most important thing we can do is, is education. And from my position as manager of Lower Guinness Farm, uh, I now feel that our great responsibility for my team and I to do all that we can to educate the 1,009 to 11 year olds that pass through our farm gates um, every year. So yeah, thank you for your time. And I look forward to learning from uh, the other hubs and everyone else on this before. So thank, thank you very much for asking.